what it's about. You know how it is. As a comic, you love seeing another comic on stage just bombing. Sure. Just eating their nads. It's the best feeling. I, can I ask Louie a question about what, Anthony, you, mm -hmm. you just said? You did a set when Ricky Gervais came to the Comedy Cellar to see Louie. And Louie went up and just murdered. Mm -hmm. And then Bob Kelly went on after Louie. <laughs> That's right. And didn't murder. Oh, <laughs> right. Dude, that's a nice way to put it, I guess. Huh? Bobby, Bobby. He was on the other side of the verb. Bobby is say. Bobby's a funny guy, but you know that's the weird thing about comedy that I've learned. Not <laughs> not I've never done a one stand up uh, night in my life. But one thing I know, knowing you guys, it happens to all of you. I don't know how that dynamic works. That you know, a brilliant comic, every comic, I don't care how brilliant they are, has a story or or few stories oh, about how yeah. they just. Friggin' tanked. Yep. Well, he was he bombed. Bob was eating it good after. I would say he wasn't <laughs> he was totally eating, dying, uh, but he was. He was. What having... before he hit the stage? What, what was it? Chicken franchise? <laughs> what was he eating good? Yeah, uh, <laughs> it was kind of a munching, but it wasn't eating the dignity mm. of a complete bomb. <laughs> no, no. 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 I go. I just went down in flames. <laughs> yeah. He no. didn't. It was a tittering. It, it was, was an awkward, upsetting. You know, the thing was that he defeated himself. He's yeah. got mental problems because. If Ricky somebody, was there. He's probably very nervous. Ricky was there, and he was already starting his face. He had no control over his face. Like, he just was oh. fl flinching and had a weird oh. smile that made no sense on his face. And uh, I went on, and I just had... I was inspired by Ricky being there. I wanted to show him a good show, and I and I had a, I plowed the place. The thing is that when somebody kills and you go on next, you should do great. Right. It's all in your head. You should pick up on the energy and do great, no matter who they are. The uh, trick I always used to love is when Seinfeld would come into the cellar because Seinfeld goes on and kills, but you can totally kill after him yeah. mm -hmm. because you're more excited actually than he is. You're more into it than yeah, he is. Yeah. But so Bob, it, as, he, as he's going on stage, he's like, "Oh, oh, this is gonna suck." Oh, I just defeated oh. before he, he got ruined up there. himself because yeah. every time but he he's actually, right. he's yeah, he well yeah, <laughs> he every time he started to to get anything going, he'd say something embarrassing and ruin it. That's too bad. The people oh. would start laughing, and then he'd say something horrible. Yeah. But anyway, Ricky and I were sitting together, and we're laughing at him because of how bad he's doing. <laughs> you don't want to be laughed at. No. No, not by And he loves Ricky, and I'm watching. Because uh, also, he's telling all these stories that are about his ther things his therapist said to him, but yeah. he forgot to set up his therapist as a person. He just goes, yeah, and I've seen right. him do the bits. He just goes, anyway, so then he says this, and the audience is looking at each other like, like who? who? <laughs> and so now he's bombing because he left out a massive piece of information that drives 20 minutes of his act. <laughs> 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 and Ricky and I realized this, and I whispered to Ricky, and we were both laughing about it. But then at one point, Bob was bombing really bad, and he looked out at the audience with this weird I hate myself look that lasted a really <laughs> long time. And Ricky just laughed because of how crazy that was that a person would do that. Oh, yeah, that's a tough spot for. Uh, but then, so later we're, out, we're outside, and Robert Kelly comes up to us and goes, "I mean, just does the work instead of just kind of going, ah, well." He goes, "So I heard you guys uh, laughing at a point where I hadn't told a joke, so I feel real bad because I heard Ricky laughing." At, he says it, and Ricky just turns white and goes, "Oh God, no! It was something else." And, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky should have just brutalized him. Yeah, yeah. At you. that's a great bombing. Because you were you were falling like Joe Kittinger in 1950. <laughs> <laughs> You're bombing in dollars and pounds. Oh, that's great. Let's bring it back to uh, Jacktober.